Hello traders, welcome back to EuroFX EM YouTube channel. My name is David Londonio, I'm a trader and I also do market analysis. Today we're going to be talking about those event-based trading strategies. More than a strategy, it will be some advices for you to take care of yourself while these events. Let's start talking about the three major events or economic reports and events that can influence financial markets. Talking about CPI, FOMC and NFV. I'm going to be telling you what is this about and its importance and how we can know when it happens and how we can manage ourselves during these events. So what is CPI? It means Consumer Price Index. It measures the average change in price of basket of consumer goods and service purchased by householders. And it's very important because investors and policy makers use the CPI to use this inflation and the cost of living. So high inflation may lead to one increase in interest rates by central banks. After that, we have the FOMC. The FOMC is a component of the Federal Reserve or the Fed of the United States that makes decisions on monetary policies. And the FOMC meetings and their decisions on interest rates are closely watched by the markets as they affect credit conditions, inflation, and economic growth as well. Finally, we have the NFP, it means non-farm payroll, and it's a monthly report released by the U.S. Department of Labor showing the numbers of jobs created or lost in all sectors expect agriculture. And its importance, it's located in the fact that it is one of the most important economic indicators assessing to the health of the labor market and the economy in general. So let's talk about those strategies I was referring to. I will begin saying that we can know, for example, and the calendars when it's gonna take place. For example, we know that on Tuesday, June 25, just a couple days ago, we have the CPI news on the CAT, the Canadian dollar. So let's see what happens. Also, it happened at 8.30, Tuesday, June 25. So let's see what happened on the USD CAT at that specific moment. As you can see at 8.30, exactly we had that huge tail, that huge movement right there. So my advice on how how to manage yourself or the strategy you may take care of on this is of course working with your own strategy is in the matter of the time the realm of time so let's end your position take out your positions at least 15 minutes before of the news and if you want to participate again do it at least 30 minutes after the news come in for example we can see right here we had this liquidity pool we had what we usually see i mean i'm talking about my own strategy right there we can see the capture of the liquidity, the change on the structure. So everything was there. Let's say, for example, you wanted to participate and buy because we have this per value gap there to be fulfilled or rebalance and so on. And we might be expecting that it will go for the liquidity of the day or so on. But we can see that at the time of the news, this huge movement was to take out of those buyers right there. So it's very important to understand this news and to be honest, with you the believers thing you can do is be out of the market during the news because it's made to take off all the participants that are let's say again participating of the market at those moments so i would recommend you to be in trading at those specific moments that will be my really simple strategy for you guys just to be out and take out your positions at least 15 minutes before of the news and if you want to participate again do it at least 30 minutes after once the markets are calmed down for saying in some way right so that will be all for this video don't forget to share and subscribe and if you like it give us a comment and click on that like button and well i'll be seeing you on the next trading session